everybody, it is Victoria. I am back with another haul video for you. This time, a little bit of retail arbitrage. If you are coming back to our channel, thank you so much for coming by to watch another video of ours. If you're new here, we are Super Geeked, where we celebrate everything we get super geeked about. So one of the things I get super geeked about is reselling. I resell clothing that I either purchase at a brick and mortar retail store, for discounted prices and then I'll flip them for a higher price or I go thrifting I go garage selling and state selling and I find items to again sell for a profit and I sell these items on a platform called Poshmark I also sell a little bit on eBay so today's haul if you aren't in the know or you haven't seen this on Instagram or social media then I'm here to tell you that Marshalls is having their yellow tag sale right now. That also means TJ Maxx is having a yellow tag sale and then Ross is having their clearance sale. So this is a really exciting time of the year. Right after Christmas, in about mid-January, they always have this sale. They also do it in late summer after the school year begins. So keep an eye out then also. So before the yellow tag sale started, I had already been stopping by Marshall just about every other day to try to catch it when it first started. And I did pick up one item before the sale started because it was already discounted with a red tag, which is their normal clearance tags, to a pretty low price. So I thought they'd be good to pick up. And that is these really cute Zara Trafalic jeans. And these are in a size two. They have all of this um, patchwork on it. And then at the bottom, they are cuffed with a raw hem. But on this side, it says, do you like my shoes? And so I thought that was really cute because they're cropped. So you can wear an awesome pair of heels with them and show off your um, shoes. And you have another way to draw attention to that. So these are obviously new with tags. I believe I paid uh, $6 for these. So I thought that was a fair price and that I would be able to make a decent profit on it. So I did pick these up right before the yellow tag sale started. So I happened to be in there the day, I think it was the first day of the yellow tag sale because everything that I had been eyeing, because I'd already sort of mapped out some of the items I would want depending on how much they marked them down, they were um, still all there. So to me that said, I probably caught it at the very beginning of the yellow tag sale. Now saying that, a lot of the prices had not dropped down far enough for me to pick them up. Like for example, there was a lot of free people that I would have loved to pick up, but some of the jackets were still $25. And from the profit margin that I like to make, it just wouldn't have been smart for me to pay up that much for those certain items. So I went ahead and left those behind. But there was some stuff that was marked at a decent price that I felt like I could make a good enough profit. So I did pick up those items. So the first thing I picked up was another pair of the Zara Trafalic jeans with the embroidery. These are both in a size two, so they're the same size, but these have been marked down to the same price that I paid for the other one. So they think they were $6. Then I also got another pair of jeans. These are some rag and bone jeans. They are a relaxed fit with a straight leg and then they're cropped and they are new with tags. They retailed for uh, $250. And I believe these were marked down to $10. So I thought maybe it was $12, but I feel like that was a fair price for these considering their retail value and Rag and & Bone tends to have a really good resale value. Sometimes they do sit a little bit, but uh, still you're able to make a really good profit margin on them, so I picked those up. The next couple of items are some sweaters, and they are but one of my favorite brands to sell, and that is Madewell. This is a size medium, and it is new with tags it retailed for $98 and it is this really cute mock neck sweater it's oversized it's got the horizontal stripes and very cute and actually the sweater has already sold so I believe I picked this sweater up for $16 and I sold it for $57 so that's a good profit margin for me the next item when I checked the comps on was selling for extremely well on Poshmark and it did not have a lot listed. 
So I went ahead and picked up two of these. They are Madewell. This is a size large and I actually are also have it in an extra small and they are both new with tags. So they are these super cute cardigans. They have these buttons on them that have the red thread that make, uh, gave, just give it a little added interest. They have the oversized sort of like bell sleeves and they are cropped. So it's a really cute look. It's super comfy. And like I said, I did get this in an extra small and a large. Those were also $16 but they re this retailed for 128 and actually it's selling close to the $100 mark on Poshmark so i felt like $16 was totally worth it and that's why i picked up two of them last item i got that day at marshalls were these leather slip-on sneakers and they are by fry they are new without box they had very good comps on them and I think I paid $15 for these, so I thought that was a good price. I'd have a good return on my money. Now that was all I picked up from Marshalls that day. The reason why, again, is because the prices are still not marked down a lot. They will continue to reduce the yellow tax. So today or tomorrow, I'm gonna go back to Marshalls. I purchased these items last week. I'm gonna go back, see if any of the tags have gone down. I know some of my reseller friends have gone to Marshall's here and purchased some of the stuff. So some of the things that I was planning on buying, they did end up paying up for them, which is fine because we all have a different plan for our business and different strategy. And so that paying up may work for them on those items, but I kind of try to look at my profit margin and just make the decision that those were not reduced enough for me yet. So I'm gonna go back to Marshall's. I actually have a merchandise credit from some returns from Christmas. And I used some of it, um, I think I had $75 on the card. I used some of it on my next retail arbitrage purchase at TJ Maxx I'm gonna show you, but I still have some money, I think about $50 left on it. And I wanna go ahead and spend that on purchasing some of the yellow tag items because they still had some really good items that I just left because like I said, they weren't reduced enough. Okay, so my next retail arbitrage moment was at TJ Maxx as I said now they don't have as many younger brands as i like to pick up they didn't have any free people any made well but they did have a lot of zara so you'll see in this haul this little mini haul from tj maxx that i did pick up only zara pieces so the first item's a zara knit and it is it's, this is actually a size medium but if you can see it is extremely oversized it's in this olive with pink and navy it is new with tags. I paid, I believe $10 for this. Uh, comps were really good on this sweater. Um, there was no more listed on Poshmark in this print. Now the, the same style with a different print on it was listed. I think there was four or five listings of that one, but there was none in this one left. All the others had sold. So that is usually a good indication that um, it is a good style when it's sold out and there's none for sale. Um, so I thought that was a good price, $10 to try it out and see how it does. I'd say 10, it might've been $8. Okay, these were $4 that I picked up and they are a uh, Trafalic denim, which is Zara. And it is new with tags. And these are called the High Rise Palazzo. Now this is in a size two. I actually have this in a double zero also on my Poshmark closet. And it has um, these wide leg, these wide legs, sort of like the palazzo pant, and it's extremely high waisted, uh, really cute. And like I said, I have two pair of these now, one in a double zero and one in a size two that I just purchased. These I also purchased for $4, which I thought was an incredible price. And it is the Zara Trafalic, and these are in a leopard print. These are a size uh, double zero and they are new without tag. They have the, still have the little dangle here, but the actual tag is missing. Um, but they are a straight leg crop and these were selling really good on Poshmark. Again, I felt like $4 was a great price. And so I picked those up, especially considering I pay, um, when I pay full price for jeans in my thrift stores, my Goodwill's here, it's usually $5 and 39 cents. So $4 for brand new without tags is a great price. Okay, last item was $10, and these are another pair of Zara Trafalic jeans. 
Um, I question whether to get these, but they do have the leather patch on the back. They have the on-trend exposed button uh, fly with an extremely high waist. And they are a straight leg crop with a raw hem. And so because it had all of those elements um, and it was a great size, so this is a US size 10, I really felt like this was a super good purchase for $10 um, and that I would be able to um, get the profit margin that I would like to get for these. All right, my last retail arbitrage stop for this past week was a store I've talked about a lot in my videos, and that is there's a store in Mississippi. It used to be called Hudson's. Now it's called Treasure Hunt. So they have the main store that's Treasure Hunt, and then they have a even deeper discounted store called Dirt Cheap. Um, you may have heard of Dirt Cheap. I know that there's a lot of locations across the U.S., um, but it all started here in Mississippi with a store called Hudson's. And what it is, is used to be when I was a kid that they did like insurance, all insurance buyouts for like if there was a fire at a factory, they would purchase all the items that were damaged and you could buy them because they were still good, but they might have a little smoke damage um, and things like that. But they slowly progressed over the years into becoming also an overstock buyout. And so they buy merchandise after, say, a season's passed at a store, they've done all their clearance sales, and then they still have items left over. Then um, Hudson's company will go in and do a buyout of what's left, and then they sell it in their retail stores. Um, I know they've been getting in a ton of mod cloth across the board. Um, in all the locations, we've been getting a ton of mod cloth in Mississippi, which is exciting for me because I love to sell mod cloth. I wear mod cloth and it's one of my bread and butters for my store and the prices are unbelievably good. So I'm going to show you some of the stuff that I picked up from Treasure Hunt this past week. And um, yeah, everything was $10. So every one of these items that I purchased was $10. The first, the first item is a dress and it is by this brand called Traffic People. Okay, and it's in a size extra large. This is a UK brand and it's a maxi dress. It's got this really cool fringe detail with some gold and black and this beautiful sort of 60s inspired print. This dress is actually sold on Revolve and Shopbop also. So a very cool find and I believe it originally retailed for $179. This was the only one they had, um, but I was pretty excited because I love the print on it. And you'll see I, pick up, I picked up a lot of prints, which is great for coming spring, the coming season, and uh, $10. I mean, how do you beat that? Next item is one of these Bolo mod cloth dresses that I am always looking for. And it is an Emily and Finn, which is a UK brand also. And this is their Kate dress. This dress is very sought after so it's rare because they haven't carried it on mod cloth in a while um it has pockets and it's in this adorable plaid print with these buttons down the front and it's got these little sleeves very 1950s inspired new with tags and so i was really excited they only had one of these but as soon as i saw that print man i ran over to that um over to that rack because I knew exactly what that dress was. <laughs> this is another brand uh, that Mod Cloth carries a lot. It's called Campania Fantastica, but it is a baby doll dress that has these abstract uh, parrots and flamingos and palm leaves. It's got these big bubble sleeves, which are so adorable. And it's a really lightweight fabric and it is a little bit oversized. So this is a medium. But as you can see, it could almost fit someone who's like an extra large. And it's just so cute. This next dress is also sold on Revolve and Shopbop. And it's by a brand called JOA Los Angeles. This dress retailed for $179. It has adjustable straps. So you can change it. It has the little buttons that you can make the straps shorter or longer as needed. It's got this cute squared belt which is very uh, vintage inspired 50s and 80s you know in the 80s they did a lot of 40s and 50s inspired fashion a lot of the new fashion in the 80s took keys from the 40s and 50s and so 
you'll see a lot of crossover in vintage 80s fashion that looks a little 40s or 50s. And so this dress does sort of mirror that with the belt because this also looks like a belt that could be from the 80s. But it buttons all the way down the front and then it does have a slit. It's in this pretty marigold color. It's a size large and it is new with tags. I have been eyeing this dress forever. I really wish that they would have had it in my size. But it is this really pretty um, mod cloth Emily and Finn collaboration dress. It's got this really pretty abstract floral. I just love the colors on this so much. And um, I said it was a maxi. It's actually like a midi length. Of course, like with a lot of mod cloth, it does have pockets, which, you know, I love. And just a really pretty dress for spring. And it is new with tags. I've also been searching for this skirt in my size. It is by the brand Retrolicious, which is also a UK brand, new with tags. Um, I got this in two sizes. This is like a red and white picnic gingham print. It does also have pockets. And it is such a cute like A-line skirt. Here is the other one. It's in a size uh, small. So I just was really excited to find this. And if you look at the stock photos, the skirt was actually paired with the next item that I found. And that is this super adorable apple sweater. It's got little apple pockets. They almost look like watermelons and apple collar. And it's by the brand of uh, Voodoo Vixen. It's in a size extra large, which is also a UK brand. And an extra large is a US 10. So it is new with tags and just an adorable little sweater with um, these pretty iridescent red buttons all the way down the front. And that would look super cute paired with the gingham skirt. So the last item that I picked up from this haul was this, again, Mod Cloth and Emily and Finn collaboration. It's in a UK size six, which is a US size two, extra, extra small. It's got these cute strawberries all over it and a cream color, perfect for spring and summer. I love these Mod Cloth cotton skirts. They all have pockets and I wear them constantly with um, just like a t-shirt or a cute top and then that you always wear them like above your belly button, like high-waisted and they're so cute, so easy to wear, really comfortable and they're one of my staple pieces personally um, for the warmer months, which in Mississippi, most of our months are warm. So I get, <coughs> I get a lot of use out of my mod cloth cotton skirts. So that was all for my retail arbitrage haul uh, from Marshalls, TJ Maxx, and from Treasure Hunt here in Mississippi. And I hope you enjoyed it. I hope that you got some ideas of different places where you can source. You don't always have to go to thrift stores. Sometimes our thrift stores are hit or miss here. We don't always have the greatest selection of brands. Um, I can always find a treasure here and there, but sometimes it's a little harder for us and you spend a lot more time in the thrift store and don't come out with a big amount of great brands. And so in saying that, um, when the weeks are drier, you know, you want to con be consistent in your Poshmark closet and on your eBay store and listing items. And I've seen a very dramatic pickup in sales because I've been listing so much lately. And so I really encourage you to try and find some different places to source. I think it will be great for your business. Thank you so much for stopping by. I hope this video was informative and kind of gave you an idea of some different avenues that you can take. And always, as always, we would encourage you to subscribe to our channel. We have more than reselling videos on our channel. We do have a reselling playlist if you're just here for that, but we also cover vintage toys, uh, records, AKA vinyl, um, personal hauls, uh, nerdy stuff, all kinds of things. So we would encourage you to check out our other videos. Also, be sure to give me a thumbs up if you liked this video and this content so we know what to create on our channel. And thanks for stopping by. See you next time. Bye.